Yeah, we started the church, and what happened is it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew, and so there were more and more ministries and staff and people, and then we added a service, and it was like a treadmill with like a knob that just got, kept getting turned and turned and turned and turned, and I was really young and did not have the tools or the perspective to understand that it is quite easy in taking care of everybody else to not take care of yourself and end up in a really sort of burned out, fried place. And my experience has been a lot of pastors, especially in kind of Western North American church culture, are actually exhausted and don't have any sense of boundaries because there's a sort of, I guess you're just supposed to be like Jesus and just everybody who calls you answer and everybody who needs something you give it to them, everybody needs to be visited, you go visit them. But actually Jesus has very, very strong boundaries. He's like, I'm not who appointed me to judge between you two? And no, I have to leave. And he, and, and he withdraws to a lonely place to pray. And so there's a very strong sense of engagement and retreat. Um, and I didn't, that wasn't something that I had picked up um, along the way. And so I kind of reached this point. Yeah, I mean, I, at that point, I'm probably like 29 or something, 30. Um, at that point, I think for my wife and I, there was a we have to go about this a different way because if we live in response to all of the needs, um, we will always be miserable and exhausted because there'll never be an end to that. But if we begin at some other point, like what does a healthy, balanced life of shalom look like in which we are giving to people from a place of health and strength and rest, um, that's a, just a different way to orient yourself. And um, practicing a Sabbath, a day of the week, to remind yourself that God created the world, not you. <laughs> um, just some basic disciplines. I, because otherwise, I think what can easily happen, especially for people who are kind of are in, whatever you call it, church work, is they're offering people and telling people and inviting people into a life that they're not living. So they're totally stressed, fried, burned out, have doubts, questions, are wrestling with theological issues, have all sorts of questions about the Bible, whatever, and have no, and yet then step into this sort of artificial ministry world where they have to perform in a certain role. I'm the lead pastor. I, I can't doubt, or I, I can't take a day off. What would that message would that send to the people? Well, it would send to the people the message that you're human, that you have boundaries, that your family means more to you than the church. <laughs> it would send all sorts of lovely messages, actually. 